hello welcome or welcome back to my channel i am in a new location if you've watched my videos before this is a very different setting i have recently moved house i was living in a little studio apartment by myself before and now i have moved in with my older brother into this little townhouse which means more room for bookshelves and books it was a very last minute decision to move house. It's kind of been on the back of my mind for a little while that I've been struggling living by myself. Um, and it kind of just like all hit me at once. Like maybe it would be a good idea to save money and just to get some extra support living with someone. Uh, before I decided that I wanted to move, I actually did buy some bookshelves and I was going to try and squeeze them into my apartment. And I slowly realized that there was not much room for it. I actually went to go pick up a secondhand bookshelf that was like massive and that fell through because it was it was a whole story. The lady was scary, the thing was way too heavy. It didn't we hired a van and it didn't fit into the van. So then we ended up um going to IKEA and getting two of the Billy bookshelves. I think they're in oak. And so I've had them for maybe like about a month or two now and I have been dying to put my books into these bookshelves. If you've been following my bookstagram, you would have seen the journey of my <laughs> book stacks and how much they have grown. And it's gotten to the point where I love my book stacks so much and I'm still gonna have some little book stacks, but I need some shelves just for some organization because as I was packing my books to move, I actually started rediscovering books that I didn't even realize I had and I sometimes I buy books and I like I find books secondhand and I buy them and then I come home and I realize I've already got that so I think I need some more organization to my book collection now that I've got way more books than I had when I first moved into my little apartment so yeah today's video is just me organizing my bookshelf which I am so so excited about I still need to get a few extra shelves from Ikea because they don't give you they give you like a limited amount um, so I've already put I put extra in this one here but this one I kind of took some shelves from this um, bookshelf so it's gonna be a bit more empty but I'm just gonna today is just like a start on the bookshelf um, and my little reading nook I've got a whole corner in my little like living room area that's like designated for my reading and for Christmas I am getting a big cozy chair for my reading so there will be a part two of me like finalizing and finishing this um, reading nook but today is just getting um, a start and getting some organization into my life because um, I will show you at the moment my books are everywhere and I feel very overwhelmed so I think I'm just gonna start and then I will talk you guys through my organization. I don't really have a plan if I'm gonna do like authors or colors or anything. I think I'm just gonna do what feels right. I would have adjusted the shelves to different heights and like tested some books in these heights. So yeah, as I do it, I'll just talk you guys through it. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I don't have much of a plan for how I'm gonna go about this. I think I'm just gonna start throwing books into my shelves in no particular order and just film it because um, what I'm currently dealing with is a bit overwhelming and I'm tr I was trying to find like books of the same size but I think I'm just going to start putting them to the shelves because then it will be less to deal with um, but I'll show you these are all the books that I've got so much going on here yeah Gonna start putting the books in the shelves. <laughs> start these are all my smaller books a lot of them are old um, Agatha Christie's that I found at the op shop um, yeah just my smaller ones that I made a little shelf for um, and I've decided I'm gonna put um, on this shelf my Marissa Meyer collection because I have 
quite a lot of books of hers and I want them all together because she's one of my favourite authors so I'm going to put those ones on there now. <laughs> so painful and exhausting so I'm up now and I'm gonna give you a little tour of like what I've organized so far it's still like chaos there's still books everywhere but we're making some progress so at the top I've put like my smaller size books and I've done I think there's mostly fiction books up here uh, a few non-fiction and it's white and blue kind of vibes I have I'm not doing complete like color coordination but just a little bit so it's appealing to the eye um, and down here I've started collecting all my Ali Smith and Deborah Levy and Rachel Cusk and then I've got a little collection of my Mary Oliver um, poetry here and then on this shelf which needs a shelf above it but I don't have that yet I'm gonna do my um, Dolly Alderton collection and my Sally Rooney collection and maybe some other like all-time favorites I've just got some mess here but down here I am doing my Jessa Hastings collection the Magnolia Parks which I currently have lost the other Magnolia Parks the first one but I'll find it somewhere and the, um tomorrow never comes out so that's gonna go right there and then I've also started a little collection of books um, about chronic illnesses um, so and maybe like some just like non-fiction and like health books um, got my Sarah J Mass books here I'm thinking of donating this series though because I didn't finish it so but I am actually very excited. I'm going to read um, Crescent City soon. And maybe um, Akatar. Um, down here I decided to put my um, Marissa Meyer. So I've swapped it around. Um, because it's quite dark and quite heavy. So I just put it at the bottom. But this is one of my favourite shelves. And I'm not sure if I'm missing. I think I'm missing a few. But I'll find them in this chaos. I'm going to put some more hardbacks down here once I find them um lots of like my smaller little books like a lot of like the classics of that size and um yeah Agatha Christie collection um a lot of red just small books here some pinks um oh, I've got my Heartstopper collection here which I'm very excited in like two days Heartstopper 5 is coming out oh my god and yeah just lots of um these are like larger books, like when books get first released, they get released in this size. And some just get released in this size. But yeah, so this is my larger ones. And yeah, that is the situation at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and um, start organizing some more. But yeah, that is the bookshelf update. And I've got a little plant. A little plant up there. Hopefully he's going to grow down the side. And yeah, i got my little um, artwork and another bookshelf. shelves. I have also 
finally figured out I had my camera on the wrong setting this whole time and that is why it was so washed out and I've actually had it like that for quite a while and not realized that I bumped it onto the wrong setting. So now you can actually see my books without them being washed out, which is great. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give you a little tour of what I have done. Oh, that's so much better. Up on the top shelf, um, I've got like smaller fiction books, a lot of like blues, greys and whites um, with my little plant that's going to grow down along the side of the bookshelf. Then I've got my Ali Smith collection, my Rachel Cusk and my Deborah Levy. Um, just a whole like range of random fiction books, kind of colour coordinated, not quite. I don't want it to be like completely rainbow vibes but I also like a little bit of color coordination and then I've got like my bigger books really want to read happy place soon um, heartstopper collection and yet then I've got my smaller pink books whites and then yeah my some more smaller books and then my like classics and then down here I've got just some like hardback books that does that don't fit anywhere else. So I've laid them down, which I actually kinda like the the look of that. And then some like non-fiction like flower arranging and floristry books. Um, and then down here is one of my favorite shelves. It is my Marissa Meyer um, shelf with my little Rapunzel um, little figurine. And then I've started a um, Sarah J Mass shelf, which is not finished. Um, then up here, I have my Jessa Hastings shelf. And then I've put my old, um, this is what I used to read when I was little. It's my little um, Neverland fairies set. I was obsessed with fairies when I was younger. And I thought I'd put it with um, this section because I've, I'm also currently reading um, Peter Pan to um, get myself ready for the release of Jessa Hastings' Never. So I'm going to put it all in that section. And I used to be a big, big fan of Tinkerbell. So hopefully there's some sort of fairy element or Tinkerbell in the in Jessa Hastings' retelling. And then I've got my little collection of like nonfiction that's not quite done yet. And then I've got a little mini shelf here of just like cute little like figurines and mini vases. And just little like sentimental things for me, my little sunny angel. <laughs> and then you just another shelf of like more new releases and more like larger um, prints. And then I'm kind of starting a shelf up here of like some of my all time favorite authors and just some like more special books. But yeah, that is my tour at the moment. I also have another shelf. Another shelf here. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I th was thinking of making that like a TBR shelf, and but and I also was thinking of doing another one. So I'm not really sure what the book nook is going to exactly look like. Um, I've also got a lot of a lot of bigger books that I um, haven't found a home for yet. But I'm very happy with this start. It's bringing me so much joy that it's like all off the floor and all organized. Thank you um, so much for joining me and watching this video of me organizing my shelves. As you can see, this place is in a lot of chaos at the moment, but we're slowly settling in and I'm really excited to show you more of my journey. I'm going to be back with a part two once I get my chair and more things for this little reading nook and then it will be finished so I can't wait to show you guys that but yeah this was just a little quick video of me setting up my shelves um, a little bit all over the place but lots of fun and yeah I really hope you enjoyed watching it thank you <laughs>